Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. It's Nicole here from A Pretty Charmed Life. In today's video, I'm going to be doing my Pandora haul from the Pandora Summer Collection. Before I actually jump into the haul, I did want to let everybody know here on YouTube that I did start a new fun adventure that is again all related to charms. So myself, Angie at Daily Charm Addict, and Rita from A Charm Dreamer have started a podcast. Our podcast is called Charm Chat and I'll make sure it's in the description. So basically we are three ladies that hang around and talk about charms and what we love about them and what's exciting and anything happening in the bead world. So uh, I would love for you to give that a listen and let me know what you think and if you like it. Hey, follow our podcast. In our second episode on our podcast, we actually dedicated it to the summer collection and what we think we wanted to buy. And the first thing on my list was this adorable Murano glass octopus. Now, you guys, this is like, it's a little ball of glass, which is so amazing. And the bail is multicolored CZs. You see clear and blue in there. But just look at this octopus, his little eyes. Those have got to be CZs in there. Little tentacles. He's cute and adorable. Oh, let's look at the back. Oh, that is very interesting. Okay, that's how they kind of have that glass kind of secured in there with those. Are they waves? I'm not even sure. But this is for sure my first, my day one purchase and I was not disappointed. That's why he's here with me. Next thing that I knew I wanted to see really, really bad were these opalescent ocean blue charms, and it's a lab-created opal, so you see this beautiful blue, and then you just have these sparkly lines through them that kind of give it that opal look, and they're beautiful. These did not disappoint. If you purchase them, I do recommend buying them in store so you can take a look because they are very unique and I'm just fascinated looking at these, <laughs> just twirling them around. But yeah, um, they vary. So buy them in person if possible. If not, you're going to get a beautiful variation of it anyway. Okay, on my list was this little color changing chameleon. I have not even experimented with the color changing of him, but he does change color in cold and warm temperatures from what I understand. He has this little tag that says you are magic, which matches I have a little dragon that says you are magic too. So I feel like they might need to go on a design together. But he's so perfect. I just love, love, love him. I love this Pandora logo stuff on the back of this disc. Super amazing. Again, if you guys listen to the podcast, you know that Rita at A Charm Dreamer is really excited about him for a Pascal. You know, he can be Pascal. I don't know if I'll put him on a Rapunzel theme or if he'll just be on a magical theme. And I can't wait to experiment with the color changing. So that will probably go on my Instagram. Maybe I'll do a YouTube shorts of it too, if it's as cool as I'm imagining it to be. This summer collection brought us another Murano glass sea turtle. So from a couple summers ago, there was the blue one, which I have and I love so much. And I didn't think I was gonna get another turtle. I'm like, I love that blue one. It's beautiful and I don't need two, but then I saw this, and one, let's look at the bale. So you have all those different colors on the bale, and then there's the turtle. He's so, like, frosty colored, I guess is the best way. Like, he's very frosted. It's not like a see-through glass. And then let's see if the back's the same. Yes, the back is the same with the blue one. You have the little heart in there, too. I don't know if I'll put him with my other turtle, if I'll keep them separate, but this one was kind of a showstopper and needed him as well. I was actually just looking up the name of this. I knew it was bubble tea, but it says it's Murano glass bubble tea. So I guess this is glass as well, which makes sense that, okay, I don't know what I was thinking when I originally saw this, but I was surprised that the little boba balls are just kind of just painted on the outside but it makes sense that it's glass because I don't know what I was envisioning, but it wasn't this. And this is just really, really nice and perfect for anybody who loves bubble tea. There's a little Pandora logo on the bottom here, I'm trying to get a good view of it. 
And it's like at the top. The top's fun. I like the big straws that you have to get with bubble tea so that way you can suck up the boba balls or whatever it is that you like to put in yours. This one here was not even on my radar. I don't remember even seeing it in the catalog, but this one is the Fly Away Rainbow Sky and Travel Charm. So you have some hot air balloons, which you guys, if you follow me, you know by now I love my hot air balloons. <laughs> and you have a sun and a pink airplane and a rainbow. And I don't know about you, but I definitely appreciate the ability to travel way more, you know, than I did maybe, let's say, in 2019. The thing that makes me really happy with this is travel charms I find are usually dangles, and I need less dangles for my travel bracelets, so this is perfect. Now with this one, I actually bought two, one for me and one for Presley, and this is Lilo and Stitch, and it's the Ohana charm. You have Stitch all grossed out because Lilo's giving him kisses. That's totally Presley right now, you guys. <laughs> she, like, doesn't like Mama Snuggles anymore. Um, what does this little dangle say? Does it say Ohana? Yeah, I think so. And then the back. Just really pretty. Some flowers. Ohana means family. Turn that around so you can get a proper view of it. There you go. I believe there is a Pandora Parks exclusive Lilo and Stitch out there too that would probably go good with this. So I'll be able to see what that is on my next Disneyland vacation. Sticking with Stitch, I got him in the bangle. He's so cute. He's digging a bite out of the Pandora clasp. And then just kind of, it's just his head, no body. This one does have an inscription on it. Usually they're um, the inscriptions are on the outside, but this time it's on the inside. Let's zoom in so you can get a better look. And there we have Love at First Bite. Once I saw Sully, I had to get Sully. He's so cute. He's got a like transparent teal enamel on there, so it's not overwhelmingly like that teal color. And then you can see the pops of purple kind of pop through there cute little scary face. I really, really, really hope that they make partners to all of the Pixar stuff they just came out. So many cute charms, but like only one from each movie. So I'm really hoping that we see more. This is just a, a little preview of what's to come perhaps. Yeah, Pandora did come out with their T-bar clasp in a leather which I was really excited about. And I just wanted to see the fit before I committed to it because I love T-bars to sit on the top. It's just, it's my jam. I just love it. And I would maybe put a charm on there too, but I just love that look. And their size one fit perfectly. So I picked that up. We're used to kind of like a double wrap in leather, but this is just one single wrap. And then last but not least, I picked up two me pieces from the Pandora Me line. These are the, the tie-dye links. I'm just going to kind of grab it with this so we can get a better view of it without my fingers all over it. <laughs> Let me hang it. That'll be good. Kind of matches my chopstick, doesn't it? Yeah, so you have just kind of this tie-dye looking thing, which is really just multicolored. But it matches this heart that I picked up too. So it's kind of like the medallion type of charm and it has a rainbow heart on there. This with one row of CZs, which I think is really cool. But then I also like how like it's kind of like folded. So you can see that there's a little bit of dimension in here. It's really fun. So there you have it. That is my kind of more than I wanted to do haul. <laughs> I just couldn't resist when I saw everything in person, you guys. It's just, um, everything's just so good. And I feel like it's been a while since I've had like a really large Pandora haul. So I'm really excited about it. I want to know what you guys got. I know that some countries got it earlier than we did here in the U.S. So I've been seeing what everyone's been purchasing and everyone's, I, I feel like these are like a huge fan favorite. But comment below and let me know what you love about the summer collection. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing. We'd love to have you. Thank you all so much for watching. See you all next time.